Tales of Heritage, Embracing the Past, Inspiring the Future. Hey there fellow explorers of history. Welcome back to Tales of Heritage. Today, we're delving deep into one of ancient Greece's most captivating myths. If you're as intrigued as I am, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on this epic journey. Our story begins with Poseidon, the god of the sea, and a love story that's a bit out of the ordinary. Poseidon cursed King Minos' wife, Pesiphae, causing her to fall in love with a majestic bull. But the story goes even deeper. To fulfill her forbidden passion, the queen turned to Daedalus, the master craftsman of Knossos, who ingeniously constructed a wooden cow. Pesiphae entered this lifelike contraption, which allowed her to approach the object of her desire, the bull. Pesiphae's unusual love led to an even more unusual birth. She gave birth to a creature, the Minotaur, a half-man, half-bull abomination. To conceal this monstrous secret, King Minos commissioned Daedalus, a brilliant craftsman, and his son, Icarus, to build an intricate labyrinth beneath the palace of Knossos. Meanwhile, King Minos attacked the city of Athens after his son, Androgus, was killed there. The Athenians asked for terms and were required to sacrifice seven young men and seven maidens to the Minotaur every seven years. But here's where our hero, Theseus, enters the stage. He volunteered to end this gruesome cycle of sacrifice and sailed to Crete, determined to slay the Minotaur. Amidst the labyrinth's twists and turns, Theseus encountered Ariadne, King Minos' daughter. Love bloomed and Ariadne provided him with a sword and a ball of thread, known as Ariadne's string. Theseus bravely faced the Minotaur, using Ariadne's thread to find his way back. In a legendary battle, he defeated the beast, ending the Athenian tributes forever. So, what's the moral of this ancient tale? Was it a story of divine wrath, love transcending boundaries, or a hero's valor? Share your thoughts and theories down below. That's a wrap on the myth of the Minotaur. If you've enjoyed this adventure into ancient Greece, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join us on more epic journeys through history. Until next time, fellow explorers.